in the community. Not only do we haul your trash and take care of your recycling, but we've also changed our trucks to CNG trucks. And we also have the fueling station right at our facility now. So we've become a lot greener so that we can help you become a lot greener. We've also been working with different companies and have been able to increase the things that are recycled. So there's so much more that can go in your brown cart than there was before. Whether you're a business that needs to recycle more or whether you're a homeowner. And also our landfill, which I'll tell you a little bit more in a minute, our landfill has a, the capacity to capture the methane gas from the things that are breaking down in the landfill. So we actually sell that energy off to the city of Alameda. So we are also becoming more green and using everything we can to help the environment. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about what away means. So when you throw something away, so Chuck is going to help me pop up a video here real quick. This is, this is the Keller landfill in Bay Point. This is where when you throw something in your trash, then it goes in the truck and it goes to the Martinez transfer station and is dumped on the floor. That is scooped up and pushed down a chute into these huge semis. So the semis, I think my notes are under you. I think, I think there were notes here. Where do my notes go? There we go. So this, the semis hold 22 tons each. And for Allied Waste, we have seven of those trucks going back and forth six times a day. So if you look at that each truck is holding 22 tons, that's 924 tons of trash going in the landfill per day just from Allied. So we're looking, we're on top of a hill that's already been capped off, the trash is to the max, looking down the valley, and they're going to fill up that hole all the way till it's even. So it's pretty amazing what we throw away and the amount that we throw away. And from Allied per day, that equals about 1,848,000 pounds of garbage per day. So we've got a lot of work to do to try and reduce what we throw away. So pretty, pretty nasty, huh? So Allied is here to help you work on that. Great. So some of the other things we're doing to help reduce what's going on is we want to help you to have a greener home or greener business. For Benicia residents, tomorrow at the Corporation Yard, we're doing a compost giveaway, and you just need to bring your own container. So that's one of the things we're doing to partner to help you be greener. Can we use our pickup? It's um, the amount I can give away is equal to, uh, you know, the big garbage cans or like your garbage can that you use at home? Two of those per household. So it's probably a, a quarter of a truck. <laughs> if you want it loose, that's fine with me. Okay, so what's changing a lot is the state is coming down with laws. There's AB 32 that was back in 2006 that we've got to get our greenhouse gases back down to old levels and we've got to work really hard and they knew it wasn't going as fast as we needed to to stop all that trash and what's happening to our environment so the next law that came out was AB 341 and that was in 2011 um, and basically if you have four yards or more of trash going to the landfill as a business you have to have recycling and basically 
we're trying to make sure all the residents have access to recycling. What's scary is the new state target. For your city of Benicia right now, about 50% of the trash um, that's out of everything, if you looked at the recycling included, about 50% is being recycled. So we only have till 2000, or 2020 to get up to 75%. That's a pretty amazing amount that we have to divert. So think of it this way, if you have a 10 gallon bucket, with that, 7.5 gallons of that needs to be recycled, not thrown away. So 75% of what you're throwing away right now will need to be recycled by 2020. So what can you do to make that happen? Well, reduce, reuse, recycle. Those amazing three R's, they're so important. Now, for your own habits, if you're looking at reduce, that's the most important one because it takes the least amount of energy. If you're not buying and you're looking at what you are buying, you can really make a difference. If you're buying something that doesn't have as much packaging, one of my favorites is there's a frozen food that uh, has a steamer basket in it that you put in the microwave. Who, what were they thinking? When you really look at that package, you've got the cardboard the box is in, the film that's inside that you're gonna throw away, you've got a little bag of vegetables and two different huge pieces of plastic. So not only are you losing money because you're buying it that way, but you're also putting so much energy wasted. And I know you can put a lot of that in your recycling, but still, Recycling takes energy too. So if you instead took a heavy duty Ziploc bag and put your, ve your vegetables from the farmer's market in it instead, you're gonna come out with the same product with a lot less packaging, a lot less money. Also look at the travel involved for whatever you're buying. Are you buying bananas from uh, Costa Rica instead of a local fruit that's in season? And watch your paper. Paper is one of the biggest things in the landfill right now that's just not necessary. And that we can avoid just by using both sides, turning things into tablets, um, using the backs of everything. Now for reuse, you don't have to buy it new. You don't always need to buy it new. Have a good time, look at uh, a Goodwill. If you need a um, chairs for an office or something for your home, check Craigslist. Recycle. There's a ton of used office places around here. And if you are a business that you have an overrun on something and you can't use it, give me a call. My booth is right over there. We can help you find a home for it. One of the things we did for Benicia was uh, Cork USA had 700,000 misprinted corks. Just pallets and pallets of misprinted corks. And we were able to find a home at the resource area for teachers, the raft, and they were able to use those for students, for science projects, and for crafts. So if you're a business and you have leftover things, please let us know. If you're a homeowner and you need things, please take the extra effort to see where else you can get it, and you can get it in light new condition. And of course, recycle. So what can you recycle? Well, again, it's amazing for homeowners what you can recycle now. Any kind of paper, just about anything. About the only thing that we can't take paper-wise is the bags, the mailing envelopes that have the bubble wrap on the inside. So those I can't take. But other than that, any kind of paper, magazines, um, cardboard, your newspapers, really look at something when you buy it and more than likely the packaging can be recycled. Phone books. phone books, any of that. The, all the voter stuff you got in the mail, please recycle it. <laughs> um, we also now can recycle a lot of metal. So that, that kettle that got old and dinged up or the Tupperware scratched in that, throw it in your recycling. We can recycle all that. Uh, your kids outgrew the toys and the plastic broke on it. It can go in the recycling, the hard plastics. 
Uh, bubble wrap, we can't take. If it's really clean, a lot of times the UPS store will take it back if it's clean. I'm sorry. It's the, well, uh, the, it's the plastic. So like plastic bags, you can take back to the grocery store. Um, you may, you could probably recycle that as long as you keep it contained in a bag in your recycling. And um, if there's any packing tape, try and pull the packing tape off. The reason is, is why the question was why uh, can you, can't you recycle bubble wrap? and that goes along the line with plastic bags. Um, if you have them loose in your brown can, it gets caught in the machines. So if you contain it, you know, tie it tight, a you know, bunch of bags in another bag and tie it tight, then you can safely put that in there. But actually, the grocery stores can recycle the plastic bags better and the, they have a better process for that. Um, but for the bubble wrap, if, as long as you keep it contained, in there. Um, glass, you can put in a lot of different kinds of glass, just not window glass or say if it's a coffee table or something like that. They have special shatterproof coatings on them and so those can't be recycled. But if you have a big piece that you need to get rid of that's like a big coffee table piece or dining room table piece or something like that, let me know because a lot of times I can find an artist that needs it so it can get reused. So that's what we call ourselves the dumpster divas. We, we help find homes for just about anything. Styrofoam is probably one of the worst things in the world that we've ever invented. <laughs> um, there's not a home for styrofoam right now, so there's no way to recycle it. There are some companies that are trying to. Um, they are actually trying to turn it into glue. But the glue, like Elmer's glue. The, it hasn't been refined yet, and one of the problems is, is it takes so much space and it really melts down tiny, so you'd have to have a huge warehouse to dedicate to it. So that's, but it's, they're working on it. But what I do is, if I buy something like a computer that's going to have huge styrofoam, I unpack it at the place and I make the, make the store take it. <laughs> Maybe they'll get a clue then. So other things that you can put in your brown can that you might not have realized is peripherals. So anything that is off of your computer, like um, a mouse, an old keyboard, that itself doesn't have an on and off switch. If it has an on and off switch, then it needs to go to an electronics recycling place. And there's free events all in Benicia all the time. Um, Again, I said the pots and pans can go in, and just about any kind of plastic, uh, old toys, the plastic buckets, everything. And there's also, that only Benicia has, is a door-to-door -door program for your hazardous waste. Now, all of your cleaning products, all of your, uh, if you've got hair dye, uh, weird uh, shampoos, uh, uh, things for your dog, um, those kind of things that you really, really don't want to pour down the drain. You can actually call customer service, set up a has household hazardous waste appointment, and they actually come to your door and pick it up. So we mail you a special bag to contain it in, and then they pick it up from the top of your driveway. So only Benicia has it, and it's the first one in Solano County that's, that exists. There's also a curbside pickup now for your Goodwill items. So anything that you would donate to a charity and you just can't get around to getting down there, we actually will come and pick it up. And so that's twice a month we have those pickups and all of that's free. So if you have some gently used clothes or kitchen items or anything like that, we'd love to pass it on to some people that need it. So my question to you is, is when you're recycling, you know, you've got to make that right choice to put it in the right can, to not put it in the trash can. So if you made the right choice and you put an aluminum can in your recycling, how many times do you think that can can be recycled? 10 times? Any other guesses? It's, pardon? Once? It's actually infinite, the infinite. So for aluminum cans, 
you can recycle them over and over and over and over and actually the life cycle is only about six weeks from the time it hits your can to back on the shelf. So definitely, every time I see an aluminum can in the garbage, it makes me very, very sad. But these are uh, bales from Pacific Rim, and Pacific Rim was one of the sponsors of this event, and they actually are right in Benicia. So your recycling goes to Benicia, goes local, they crush it, bale it, and um, sell it off so it can be back on your shelves again. So how you're saving money is just by, if you're paying attention to your packaging, then there, even with the saran wrap and all of that, there's, and styrofoam, there's less to throw away. And if you're recycling it and giving away as much as you can, then there's less in your trash can. And every time you bring down the size of your trash can, you're gonna save money because your trash is based on the size of your can, whether you're a business or a homeowner. So they even for homeowners have the little 20 gallon cans that are very, very small. So it's definitely going to save you money. And one of the businesses in March, in, um, excuse me, in Benicia uh, went down a, two huge sizes and were able to save $600 a month. And homeowners have been able to save quite a bit too because again, you just, the more that goes into recycling and reducing, the less trash you're going to have. Just give us a call. We'll switch out your can and automatically you're saving money. So other things you can do for the planet um, in general is definitely buy local. We want to make sure you do. And you have a, a great farmer's market here that you can buy all your fruits and vegetables and then different things there. But when you go to a restaurant and if you're asking them for a to-go box and they have lovely styrofoam, let them know. So, you know, I would eat here more if you would have a, a recyclable container that is your to-go boxes. Um, also, I'm one of those people that brings my own little Tupperware in, the, in my bag, <laughs> in my purse. And if you don't want to stick something like that in there, bring a piece of foil. So you're not wasting food, you're um, saving money on food, and you're not putting styrofoam in the environment. And of course, always use recyclable shopping bags when you can. That helps so much. Uh, shopping bags is another one of the nightmares that we've created for ourselves. And Allied calls those kites because they blow everywhere and get into everything. And even if they get torn in that and pieces get into the waste stream, they break down into these little micro beads that the fish eat. So eventually we're all gonna be eating plastic. Um, of course, the normal, uh, watch your water use and electricity use. And again, you have a great farmer's market here. And if you're a Starbucks fan, I sure hope you're using a reusable cup <laughs> instead of they're, even though they have the wax coated cups, those don't break down well. They're better than the styrofoam, but they're not the ideal thing. And the plastic lids on the, the, any Starbucks cups, those can be recycled. And the little thing that keeps you from burning your hand, that can be recycled too. So if you're having an event for, um, let's see, Thanksgiving's the next one. Instead of um, using paper plates and that, try and use recyclable materials. As you saw, we had uh, plastic cups here that are recyclable. And think about going to Goodwill and buying a unique plate for each person. And then if they want to take home leftovers, they can take the plate. And you haven't used any plastic. And you can mix, mix and match some great things for your events. So you can do that at your home and if you were doing things for business. And we had a reception here for this event and we used all regular glasses, all um, regular plates and forks, no plastic. And we had so much less trash. It was amazing. And myself, I did an event in uh, Martinez and it had about 85 people. And because we used real forks and plates and cups, and recyclable napkins and we composted. If people just didn't think anything about it, scraped off their plate and you know set it to the side, that was all the trash we had. From the whole day of the business, plus that whole event was about three gallons. 
So you can really make a difference, and again, you can really bring your trash costs down by just paying attention to what you buy and, of course, what you throw away. So my closing thought is this is an audit I did, and I look at this is off of someone who went to the landfill and just threw the stuff off their truck and that. There's metal, all kinds of metal. There's all kinds of cardboard, paper, just so much stuff that just could have been recycled. And they're like, oh, well, just take it to the dump. Well, and then it goes away. Well, it never really goes away. It'll sit in the landfill forever. So with that thought, um, I thank you. And um, come visit my booth if you have any questions. And I'd be happy to do an audit and help you to uh, make sure you can use as small a trash can as possible. Save you money, help our environment. Thank you.